Hello to all the UPSC and state civil services aspirants in the Abhimanyu IS. You are most welcome. My name is Pravesh Watts and I am the faculty of Indian Polity and Governance in the Abhimanyu IS. We are providing civil services grooming from the last 23 years to students across India and we have produced more than 2200 results since 1999. And to continue with the same path I am coming with a series on YouTube and that series titled Concepts in Polity. In this series, I will be dealing with minute minute topics which are very important and very significant for the exams perspective because time and again they appear in the prelims and in the mains exams in the UPSC and in other state civil services exam. Today I have come with a topic called liberalism right what is liberalism right so i'll be telling you all the hook and nook of this term liberalism and before i start i want to share some brief information with you that we abhimanyu is are targeting is program 2023 and 24 and this is a one year course in prelims in online as well as in offline mode and we will give an integrated coaching for prelims as well as for mains. As a faculty of Indian Polity and Governance for prelims as well as for mains, I am coming with a module on Indian Polity in which I will be explaining the syllabus of UPSC and state civil services regarding Indian Polity, Governance, Constitution and so and so forth. So now let's move on next topic and those who wants to join it they will get its link in the description box so title of our today series is liberalism right liberalism question appears in the gs2 part in the prelims part as well as in the political science as an optional part right so it becomes very important and crucial for us to understand the exact definition of this term liberalism started as classical liberalism we have various connotations or various forms of this term liberalism we have in different different times new thoughts emerged in this idea liberalism and they provided different views and different forms of liberalism but since we are not dealing this issue for the optional now we are just confining for the prelims as means understanding so what we have to understand is it started as classical liberalism which means ancient liberalism from where the roots of this term started right classical liberalism it represented the views of capitalist class Capitalist class simply means those class or the class which is having money and belongs to the elite section or the richest class of our societies. Whether it is Indian society or whether it is American society. Those people who are having enough money, they are called rich and when all such kind of people constitute, they are called capitalist class. Second, this term emerged as a byproduct of renaissance. Renaissance is a new reformative age in our history when the new ideas came in forefront like humanism, preference for humans, individualism, scientific revolution, etc. and etc. And it is a philosophy of modern times because renaissance started the modern phase of history so we can consider the liberalism as a philosophy of modern times liberalism speaks about liberty right liberalism says that we want liberty as a prior condition to live a human life and that is what it, that that is the reason because of which they supports individualism and its autonomy this is that society is not that important in compared to an individual 
an individual is more important to the whole society the whole society cannot impose its views on a single individual because a single individual is also having that much prestige and honor as the other fellow beings in the society so simply liberalism says that we have to protect and ensure the dignity of an individual understood second autonomy autonomy which means power to take our own decisions independently without someone's interference for an example if i want to marry at certain age th- that would be my decisions that would not be the decisions of my fellows of my societal beings and of any other person who is associated with me directly or indirectly so it represented the views of capital capitalist class how it represented is that earlier when we had feudalism so to abolish feudalism capitalist wanted that the feuds or the serfs who are slaves or who are the working class have to be come out of that arrangement from their feudal lords because if we are the capitalist class and we want to increase our capital so we will be establishing industries but though we have established industries but we are not having enough labor so to have the labor they started a war or you can say a kind of struggle against the feudalism and that is why they won their war against the feudalism and they started a new wave which is called capitalism represented by the capitalist class the capitalist class dominance so they got all those slaves or all those serfs and they utilized them in the form of their labor to provide labor on their machineries in their industries and to get surplus and to get profit right second this is all about liberalism i mean who are liberals liberals are not those who says that we are liberals in thinking this is a misconception in our society most of the people say that we are liberals but the exact word liberals comes from the liberalism which means that we as an individual are supreme than every other fellow beings whether it is society or it is state and that is why we have perspectives of liberalism on various issues in which the first important issue is the society what is a perspective of liberalism on society society is called aggregation of all individuals right so what liberal says about society is that they have negative perspective on the society right they says that it is just a market place where people come to buy the materials of their daily lives and it is nothing just the sum of individuals for liberals society is not organic which means society is not natural they consider society as a conventional thing which is created by the man but when we study idealist philosophers they'd say that no society is organic which is is which is being established before the existence of individual autonomy and that is why liberal say that state is not prior to man man is prior to state or man is prior to society which simply means that they give too much importance to the individual and his life in the name of liberalism and they do not cater too much for the society so they say that society is just the marketplace and it is just the sum of individuals if you collect individuals so that would become a society it is not having any collective good which means that society do not provide enough resources to make an individual lives a happy life an enjoyable life this is the perspective of society by the liberal philosophers or by the liberal scholars they also say that man is more important than society which i have again told you that they consider man supreme than the society they believe that men because he is a man because he is a human being he is having enough legality to justify his claim over the society 
he can say that I am supreme from the society, right? So these are the perspective of liberalism on the society. Second, what are the perspectives of liberalism or the liberal philosophers as a philosophy on the state, right? So they again says that we do not consider state as an organic or as a natural entity, which means that state is not created by men. This is the philosophy of idealist scholar. But state is created by man or the human beings. This is the philosophy of liberalism. They say that state is the creation of man. State is not any god or any supreme being. Man is supreme being and for limited purposes, man is able to create state. So for liberal represent, for liberal state represents evil, evil which means a negative entity, evil versus God, right? So because it limits your liberty, right? State comes with the power of punishment, state comes with the law and order and authority and sovereign decisions making power. So when state is making sovereign decision powers and state is having sovereign powers over various issues, so a man cannot enjoy his life as per his interest and that is why they consider state as an evil or a mechanism which limits the liberty of individual and since liberalism is all about liberty or the freedom you may say because for them liberty or freedom is much important for the man to enjoy their life. They do not consider equality that much, they consider liberty that much. They have preference for the liberty, they want freedom first, right? They supports minimal state or night watchman state. Well, the meaning of these two terms is minimal state which is performing very minute tasks in our society, right? Which is not playing a major role in your socio-economic and political arena, which is just doing very minimal tasks like providing law and order and maintaining the economy in grave situations. But in the normal times, it should not interfere. That is the perspective of liberalism on the state. Second thing they, they say is that it should do the work of night watchman, right? which means chokidar because along with the liberty the capitalist class is very much susceptible to the threat of life. This is the one class who loves their life and that is why any sort of danger they feel is threatful for their life and that is why they want state to perform this task primarily and that is why in liberalism they say that the man has created state to perform the night watchman actions to provide security of life to the capitalist class. Understood? This is the role of state in the philosophy of liberalism. Then it says that it is conventional not organic which simply means that state is creation of man. State is not a natural thing. State is created by the man. State can be created. State can be abol abolished or neglected by the state, by the man's will. So state's existence itself depends on the man's will. This is all about liberalism perspective on the state. What are the views on economic policy? This is again very important to understand regarding liberalism. They favor laissez fair or the free market economy. Well, the meaning of this is that they do not want states interference in the normal routine market or the economic sphere. They believe on the principle of invisible hand, which is given by a famous personality called Adam Smith. According to this, an economy runs on the basis of demands of market, on the basis of demand and supply in the market. And that is a principle which was liked by the liberal scholars which they incorporated 
in this philosophy and they said that we want limited state even in the economic sphere which do not interfere in the daily economic markets in the daily economic spheres because market is itself able to perform important task no interference of state and its machinery right state should not interfere in the economic sphere with by using its machinery states should confine its task to the night watchman action only right and invisible hand is enough to stabilize economy so the relevance of state sections are not that much in the perspective of liberalism what are their views on socio public policy socio public to provide socio economic socio political governance so their view is survival of the fittest which means i can cite an example here to make it clear survival of the fittest for an example if in the society some people are competing for an exam so according to this term survival of the fittest the one who can afford all the basic things to clear that exam should try for that exam all the people should not try for an example if you want to take coaching for an exam you need money for that if you want to fill the exams form you need money for that so according to liberal liberals perspective only those people who can afford money or efforts for that only they should prepare for that exam and that is called survival of the fittest which simply means that who is able who is fit for his survival he should live a life other people's life is not considered that important as per the liberal or as per the liberalism right and they also says that drunk yard in the gutter is where he ought to be which means if some persons are poor they believe that it is not a fault of the capitalist class they believe that it is a fault that he is born in that class right it is not the fault of capitalist class we are doing work we are doing hard work to create profit but if the poor class is unable to earn that much profit it is their fault it is not the fault of capitalist class but when we study socialism or such as communism so we have a very contrasting views on these two philosophies of liberalism because as per the, as per those philosophies poors are not poors by themselves poors are poors because of the negative interest of the capitalist class so since we are talking here about the liberalism so liberalism says that drunk yard in the gutter is where he ought to be and it is not the fault of capitalist class in making his position in the gutter so this much is all about the liberalism and i think you will understand it better so thank you for this lecture and we'll meet again thank you